Hi, my name is Graham and welcome to our next video for Heritage Week 2020. In our previous video, I explained the origins of the term bite the bullet and how this refers to the loading of a musket in 1690. There are many other sayings that have their origins in 17th century musketry and I'll explain a few of those today. I'm currently holding a flintlock musket and a flintlock was a newer style of musket featured on battlefields in 1690. There is a different method other than the bite the bullet method to load your musket. I will now demonstrate this other alternative method. This item I am currently wearing is known as a bandolier of charges and it would have been used by the musketeers at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690. Each section contained enough gunpowder for one single musket shot or charge. There were 12 sections altogether, so there was enough for 12 shots in the bandolier of charges. This section here contained the priming powder and the powder was inserted onto the pan of the musket. I would pour the priming powder in like so. I would then pour the self-contained gunpowder down the smooth bore barrel. And finally, I would insert the musket ball from my bag here down the smooth bore barrel. I would then pull the lock back into its firing position like so and I am ready to fire. The charge is set off by the flintstone hitting the pan and creating a spark which ignites the powder in the pan and in turn ignites the powder in the barrel which results in the musket shot. For a shot to be successful it was vitally important that you keep your powder dry. If gunpowder is damp it means it won't fire. This saying today means to be prepared for action. Muskets had this small pan beside the end of the barrel for the priming powder. When the powder ignited without firing the musket ball, this was known as a flash in the pan. In other words, all show and no action. This was very dangerous as the musketeer would re reload his musket, which had then too much powder and as a result, this could blow up in his face. The firing mechanism on the musket had a notch on the hammer as a safety device to prevent the musket from firing prematurely. This was known as half cock. If it was worn, the musket could fire at half cock. This saying refers to a person acting hastily or unexpectedly. The musket was made up of three separate parts, the lock, the stock and the barrel. A person who is moving all the possessions from one place to another could be said to be moving lock, stock and barrel. I hope you enjoyed learning the origins of these terms to have their basis in 17th century musketry. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I explain the origins of the commonly used term square meal. Thank you.